Hi, my name is Andres Julian Gomez, blogger and creator of the blog An Entrepreneur. Today we're going to continue, uh, this is actually the, the last installment of a fourth uh, series, insta uh, series uh, where we deal about the, the, the aspects of selling a business idea to an investor. As I said, uh, we started this last year in 2013 and today we're going to end the, the last part, the fourth part, analyzing the post-mortem. The idea is that after we have pitched the idea to the investor or group of investors, we as entrepreneurs analyze what happened, if it was positive, if it was negative, and this goes beyond if we received the yes or the no of the investor or the group of investors. At this moment in time, we have already presented our idea to the investors or the group of investors. We have talked to them, maybe have a couple of meetings, maybe three, four meetings. I don't know, but we have already talked with them. We have also done a follow up, maybe replying to some of the comments that the uh, investor made us and uh, maybe uh, included some additional information, making me uh, talk about the marketing plan, about the analysis we've had made of the situation, maybe showed us uh, the prototype of our product. Anyway, we have done many, many things. And at this moment, we have already received the yes or the no from the investor. And actually, I don't care if you have received a yes or a no. That is not the point of this exercise. In fact, regardless of of whatever answer you receive from the investor, it is important to do this exercise. Here you have to analyze the good aspect, the, the, the positive aspects of all this journey, what you did right, how you pitched your idea, maybe it was great, so you have to do it again. What was your strong elements in this presentation? And also analyze the bad aspects. What did you do wrong? How can you improve your presentation, your performance in the future? That is very important. And you have to analyze this, as I already said, even if the answer was a yes or a no. And especially if the answer was a yes. Why? Because maybe in the future, maybe in this same project, in a future project, you're gonna confront another investor. And maybe this investor will uh, look for your experience and you have to show this experience what you have learned throughout this process. So yes or no, it is an excellent exercise to do this post-mortem. When we're doing this exercise of post-mortem, that if you can, you should do it with all the entrepreneurship, uh, the entrepreneurship team, you should be critical, but not that critical. You ha it, I would say that besides being critical, the, 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 the idea, is to be very objective, uh, with a cold mind, a cold heart, analyze what happened, what went right, what went wrong, and then have a, an end result that is actually the, the, the post-mortem. Also, if you have the opportunity, please talk with the investor or the group of investors and ask them, what did I did right? What did I did wrong? Why did you choose me? Why didn't you choose me? And they will probably give you a, a very positive feedback. It might be difficult to reach some of these investors, but if you can and if you have the opportunity, do it because the information you will receive is invaluable. To sum up and finalize this exercise, first I hope you, have, you had fun. That's part of the idea of the exercise. And I hope you learned many things about yourself, about your team, and how you can be better in the future. So have fun, apply this knowledge, and the next time you talk with an investor, have a blast. If you still have doubts about this process, please remember to consult the previous videos. This has been Andres Julian Gomez, blogger and creator of An Entrepreneur Blog. I hope you like this video. Uh, we're expecting your comments, so please do them at the end of the video. Also, please remember to share this video with your friends, colleagues, family members, and followers on social networks. See you next time.